Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we are going to be looking at the Operation Bronze Cobra Drop Pod. So these things have showed up in big lots in some places in the US. My big lots unfortunately didn't have any. I went and looked and there was none. Um, but a Discord user by the name of Kev was kind enough to sell me his extra Bronze Cobra as well as lend me the other three pods for review. So there will be, at the very least, four drop pod reviews coming. Um, so a big thanks to Kev for that. I have never gotten these drop pods. I was barely, barely getting into collecting when I found them at my Target. I think there was, I think I saw this one, um, Ocean Breaker maybe, and a couple others. They were in Target, and I was like, oh, they're kind of cool. I don't really know much about the drop pods, so I just kind of ignored them. I bought Blind Bags and Halo Heroes instead, and completely missed out. So I'm very excited to take a look at these. So let's real quick look at the box. Got our standard Halo branding for the time, the kind of oddly geometrical chief, some forerunner-y looking circuits, blister pack showing the figure weapon and the pod nice shot of the pod going through an atmosphere of some sort and we have the back there's the other three flood hunter guillotine and ocean breaker looks like we can pop the door of the pod and then we get a shot of the odst up here which uh, honestly that art looks a little odd to me the odst looks rather chubby but that's a, that's really a nitpick so let's go ahead and pop this open. So there is a like tab here to grab it, but honestly, I think it's going to be easier if I just do this. Ta-da! No need to pop the back at all. Pull this out. There we go. There's our ODST, the uh, pole or whatever you want to call it for the air brakes. Um, pop our figure out rocket launcher it is a halo 4 or 5 rocket launcher which i know a lot of people don't like but that's a pretty cool looking piece get those out i said get those out come on we're left with that we don't need that and then we have some instructions which are just a giant sheet. Oh my goodness. Uh, wow. Okay. So it looks like you actually can assemble and disassemble the pod, which is something I didn't know at first. It will be very interesting to see. I guess all the parts are in here. Well, I'm taking it out of camera. Okay, let's see. Oh, they're all just bungeed on at the moment, so we can just slide those out. Like so... And slide that off. Oh, wow. They've got a whole sealed bag in there. Okay. So I do need to build it. There's our other air brake. We've got a stand. I've got to be careful or else parts will go flying here. Um, there are these pieces here. I don't... They're just like extra detail on the sides of the pods. I don't really know what they're for. But look at this. This is the first thing that I thought of when I saw them. <sighs> Come on. This is a peg. This should work. <sighs> Look at that. It's not in all the way. I don't feel like wrestling with it at the moment, but that makes a fantastic backpack. How cool is that? Alrighty, so let me go ahead and get this together, and we'll take a closer look. Alrighty, there we go. It is all put together, and that was actually surprisingly fun to build i thought it was just going to be you know pop 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 and it'll all be together but it was fun to build and i could i could see clever like mock makers taking this apart and using the pieces for some really cool stuff you get a total of zero extra parts which is a little surprising seeing as mega sets today give you like mounds of extra pieces but uh yeah this one doesn't have any we just get our figure we get the pod and the air brake, and it looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this ODST. 
let's be honest here. The whole reason why any of us would buy one of these drop pod sets would be to get an ODST. Sure, the drop pods are cool, but what's a drop pod without an ODST? This guy is a very desert-themed ODST. This entire set is like the desert theme one. Uh, Bronze Cobra certainly sounds like a desert operation, although I don't really know if Cobras are desert creatures. I guess there could be Cobras in the desert, but it sounds more like a jungle thing to me, honestly. Regardless, though, it's a cool name. So we get the Rocket Launcher, which is pretty cool. I like the little bit of red near the end. In it, The whole thing is done in this kind of mottled uh, lighter tan, so that's cool. We don't get a ton of these. There's only been a few sets with them, so I like to get another every now and again. Even though they're not the spanker, they still are pretty cool. And you can more easily have the figures hold the two handles um, on this one than you can on the spanker. So that is a plus. And then the ODST himself instantly makes me think of the ODSTs from the uh, Squad Ambush set which I do have one of those ODSTs here. Actually, I do still have both of the ODSTs. However, they have been modded kind of beyond recognition. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. But basically, these guys had a light kind of gray color as their secondary color, where this guy has silver. But similar color schemes, I think if this guy were to not have a wash and matte coat and all that weathering, he would be... Let me see, slightly lighter than this guy. They don't match exactly. But yeah, they're they're close enough that you can make a little squad if you wanted to. Um, the silver is cool. The print for the ODST like emblem there is actually very crisp, very sharp. Around the back, no print. And on the helmet, we have one of those little calm attachment things. And then we have the visor. Let's zoom in a little closer. So everything I could tell, like based on pictures and whatnot online, the visor for this guy is supposed to be a vaguely metallic blue, kind of like this here. You can see that's kind of a metallic blue, black. Everything I can see shows this guy as having metallic, or maybe it's just a little bit shiny because I can see it shiny here. However, his chin and the sides here are supposed to be black and it looks like the machine somehow got mixed up and decided to paint the blue in place of the black here so there's only a little bit of black on the side and then the blue goes all the way down the chin and right now it's really hard to see just because of how similar the blue and the black is but yeah there's a lot of blue all the way down the chin and that's not how it's supposed to be it doesn't look instantly wrong or bad, but it's definitely wrong. So I may just end up painting the black on myself because that's a pretty simple fix. Um, and then the other thing is it looks like there's some something funny going on with this guy's hand. He has the weird hand issue where it can move back and forth when it shouldn't. It's a fairly minor one. So I might not even have to do anything to it because I don't think the hand's going to come out or I might be able to just easy fix it. But yeah, other than that, this ODST does look fantastic and I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I thought this guy was going to be the most bland of all the ODSTs, but no, he looks good. And you can see the, uh, the dropper symbol print a little bit better. Look how sharp that is. So yeah, overall... Very nice, just that visor print is weird. I don't really know what happened there. So now let's look at the drop pod itself. So we have the air brakes here, and it's supposed to be able to do this, and a couple of the other pods that I was lent for review can actually hold this up. But this connection is super, super loose for some reason. It's like, this can be a helicopter now because of how much it spins. So that's a bit of a bummer, because that means you can only display it like that, which is a little weird. I mean, okay, no, let me rephrase that. This is really cool. I like the way that they let you fold the air brakes down, but not ever having the air brakes up, because 
in my opinion, the best look is when it's got the air brakes up and it looks like it's just about to pop it loose. That's the coolest look for me. And not being able to do that is rather annoying. I might be able to use some sticky tack or something to hold it in place, but I shouldn't have to use sticky tack. Those pieces are very cool. You can position them all around. They look almost banished, like in how spiky they are. Then we can just remove that if we want to, and that leaves a pinhole on top. So we'll set that aside. And that's what the pod looks like without it. Very nice shaping, looks pretty darn good. The back has the most ugly parts of it. We get the made in China little words here. And then we have a brick, which means we could attach it to stuff, which is cool. I like that. Then our little backpack pieces go here and here. Nice detailing. These parts peg in. Here, let me just show you. There's a peg here, and then there's a tab here, and then there's a little hole. So you slide this on, and you got to make sure that the peg goes into the hole, and then you're all good to go. You have to build these little assemblies. I guess they're like warning lights or whatever. And then the door is fantastic. It's got silver and then translucent windows. And then you do this. And it pops off. That's like the whole gimmick here. Is that the pod comes slamming down. And the door pops off. So that's just done by this base being a little loose. And you just pop it down and off it comes which that works really well and is a great gimmick in my opinion. The bottom part is printed with like sand. So it looks like it's already crashed once or twice into the ground. It's very clean and we have some studs to attach it. So far, this looks absolutely fantastic. My question is how easy is it to get this guy inside? Whoa. So there's a seat back in there and you can kind of let's see there's a peg you got to line up the peg with his back do i just need to take it in half to get this in am i am i just hmm. yeah let me do that i think i'm just causing myself more pain here i assume yeah i assume i need to take the backpacks off and then Hmm, no, that, okay, that can't be the way that you're supposed to do it because they don't make that easy. So I've got to be able to put him in without taking it apart. Oh, there's also a clip in there for you to hold accessories, but there is absolutely no way that rocket launcher is fitting inside. So we are not going to put it on there. Come on, this is frustrating made even more frustrating by the fact that I'm doing it behind the camera. Okay, he's he's pegged onto there. His uh, torso peg hole is very, very tight, so I can't get him too far in. Oh, and look, his rocket launcher fits. Not on the clip, but it does fit. And then we can close him up. Ooh, look at that. He's in there. And it, the door comes off and his rocket launcher flies out and he doesn't. But okay, that was a little bit of a hassle to get him in there, but it worked. And the gimmick still works with the figure inside. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so I was about to move on to the final bit of the review, but I realized something. So we got him in there. How are we going to get him out? Hmm. <sighs> this might be... Oh, wait. Here he comes. All right. So when you're putting your figure in there, it's best not to stick them all the way onto the peg in there. Otherwise, he might be stuck in there forever until you disassemble the pod. Well, there you have it. That is the Operation Bronze Cobra Drop Pod. I really like this set. I really like this ODST pod design. The figure is really cool. And it's just overall a really nice little set. I know some people prefer the original drop pod style. The older, more angular ones. And I don't think you really built them. I think you just put the door on. 
And I, I can see that those ones did look really cool, but I think these are definitely a worthy successor, these new ones. And of course, the gimmick just makes it so fun to play around with and just have it come slamming down and the door go flying off. It is a little bit of a pain to get the figure in and out, but that is what it is. There's not much you can do about it. Um, as for complaints of the set as a whole, the ODST definitely has some weird things. The visor print is odd. Like the fact that it goes down to the chin and the hand issue. That's, that's a bit of a bummer. But other than that, I think he's really nice. The rocket launcher is great. I like the fact that he's got the sniper shoulder pad and the silver highlights are a great touch. The pod, the main downside is the fact that this is a helicopter blade and not a air brake like it's supposed to be. But yeah, other than that, it's it's really it's a good set. So if you want to get this set now, that's it's not in stores and you don't have a big lots around you that carries them, um, because I'm sure that's going to be a very limited time thing. You can find this online for between like 18 and 30. Now, I would say 15 to 20 is decent. I actually have a lot of four of these drop pods sealed coming in that I paid 20 each for. Because um, my goal is to review all of them. And Throne, Veritas, and Stone Break were not really showing up in Big Lot. So I had to go and find what I could of those. So 20... I feel like that's a little steep, but it is it is reasonable. I hate saying that, but it is reasonable. 30 and upwards, I think no. That's not really worth it. As cool as these things are, it's just... That'd be a, a hard pass. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this in some photos. I think this will be a great backdrop piece. Great even centerpiece. I wonder if I could get a photo with the ODST's face looking through the window very cool i'm definitely looking forward to reviewing the rest of these thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and consider subscribing and i'll see you next time